it's week five of the season for Ohio football, the final non-conference game of the season. Ohio takes on Eastern Illinois on Saturday, but before that, we had the Frank Solich Show on the Ohio IMG Sports Network on Monday at Donato's in Athens. I'm Russ Eisenstein. The Cats got it done 36-24 over Idaho. We also previewed the EIU game coming up. The Panthers are 1-3, so we slice it all up for you. Here are the tastiest nuggets of the Frank Solich Show from Donato's. Darius Vick went down to injury. It was on the roughing the passer penalty that was near the end of the first uh, half. Uh, what more can you tell us about Darius Vick's injury situation? Yeah, it, um, you know, we'll, we'll see how extensive it is, and um, but you know, he is doubtful for this game, and um, and in fact, uh, several weeks beyond that, most likely. Maybe, yeah. But you know, I don't take it more than one week at a, at okay. a time, you know. But uh, unless the guy needs surgery, and, and it's clear that he does not need surgery, so we'll we'll just see how uh, how that works. So it's probably better than than what we had feared it might be uh, at the time. Well, yeah, it could have been uh, certainly much worse, no question about it. How do you feel that J.D. Sprague has commanded the offense for you, and how do you feel he did on Saturday night? Well, he's done well. You know, he that was the first time he's come in in that kind of a situation, you know, where, where we were ahead, but it, uh, it, it was... Uh, a deal where it, not by much and, and every play counted. And um, so I thought he responded well. You know, I, I think as the game went on, he continued to, to play better and, and really settled into uh, to, to playing well. Um, so I think it was great experience for him to be put in in that kind of situation. It's good that he had previous playing time. Um, and, and, and so, you know, he wasn't in complete shock as he, uh, as he went in there. And, and uh, I thought along with him playing well and our receivers really making some great catches. And, you know, I, I, I thought it was one of the better ball games for quite some time in terms of the number of different receivers just jumping up and, and, and making plays one on one, on one you know. So um, that, uh, that was certainly helpful, too. And we were able to establish a ground game, which was uh, also – Helpful, so um, uh, you know he's he's excited about having played and and um, and done well, and he's looking forward to to uh, to playing more. Outscored 15 to five this year, and that's not in including the, the shootout. But um, where are you at offensively, and, and does that number, those numbers, does that concern you? The five does, yes. Um, we did concede quite a few goals against Syracuse, who are top five team and uh, they, they took it to us early so that, that number is a little skewed in our defensive um, setup but um, scoring goals is our, our issue right now um, we have four freshmen starting two of them on the forward line and we need to get them up to speed as quick as we can and, and we're trying to play around with formations a little bit try to get some more experience up on the forward line but if we don't score goals we're not going to win games and uh, we were lucky against Indiana this past weekend. We hit the crossbar in the first half, and that would have taken a one nothing lead. And the way our defense is playing, that could have been good enough for us. Um, unfortunately for us, they got a they sneaked to go middle of the second half, and that was that was the difference between the team. One thing that, that's striking about the roster is just the fact that how many states are represented and how many countries are represented. My rough count was seven states and three countries, uh, obviously the United States, uh, but two from Canada and, and one from England. That's just kind of the nature of the sport, isn't it? You, you have a good program, and it's got a wide reach, and that's where Ohio field hockey is right now. And, and I think it also s it's also a part of the, uh, the nature of the state of Ohio. The, the field hockey in the state in high school is, is okay, but it's not outstanding. Mm -hmm. And so each year we're trying to recruit the top few kids from Ohio, but we have to reach further than that. Um, Louisville's a good pocket, which is probably the next nearest uh, city to us that we can really recruit from. But then we're looking at Pennsylvania, or we've got a few, few of our players from California, or we're all, we're all over the place. It's, uh, it's a fun time recruiting when you're looking you know, large distances away. It's over Eastern Illinois coming up on Saturday. Well, that, we're not going to change much. Um, you know, we're we're going to have to take great care of the, of the ball, obviously. Um, we never want to get one-dimensional, and, and so we're going to work hard at establishing a, a ground game. And then uh, we're going to need to be able to stop their ground game because as well as they throw, the one thing that they've done is uh, put together an offense which got three backs in the backfield along with the quarterback, and they're now running some triple option, which is very difficult to stop if you don't practice a long time. Good luck Saturday. We'll see you at Peden Stadium. Thank you.